year three and four, this is just a quick video to help you with your work on lesson two of our English this week, all around our model text, What is an Earthquake? So watch the video through, I'll do a quick recap of the model text, our text map and the actions, and then there's an explanation of the work I need you to do at the end of the video. Email if there's any questions. Just to remind you, this is our model text that we're using for these lessons and I'm going to read it to you in a minute, looking at our text map, and then I'm going to go over the actions again. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is when the surface of the earth shakes because the top layers of the earth have moved. The earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates, which are like jigsaw puzzle pieces covering the earth. These plates are always moving and bumping into each other. As the plates move, the edges can get stuck because they are not smooth. When this force is too much, it slips and bumps, and that causes an earthquake. During an earthquake, the ground shakes. Some earthquakes are barely felt, but some can cause huge destruction. Buildings can collapse, or water and electricity can be cut off. There are places in the world which have more earthquakes because they sit on the edge of the tectonic plates. In the United Kingdom, we sit far away from the edge of the nearest plate, so we are not at risk of earthquakes. In places where earthquakes are common, humans have made changes to keep themselves safe. Buildings in these countries are often smaller, so they'll cause less damage if they collapse. People will practice what to do if an earthquake happens, so that they are prepared. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is when the surface of the earth shakes because the top layers of the earth have moved. The Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates, which are like jigsaw puzzle pieces covering the Earth. These plates are always moving and bumping into each other. As the plates move, the edges can get stuck because they are not smooth. When this force is too much, it slips and bumps and that causes an earthquake. During an earthquake, the ground shakes. Some earthquakes are barely felt, but some can cause huge destruction. Buildings can collapse or water and electricity can be cut off. There are places in the world which have more earthquakes because they sit on the edge of the tectonic plates. In the United Kingdom, we sit far away from the edge of the nearest plate, so we're not at risk of earthquakes. In places where earthquakes are common, humans have made changes to keep themselves safe. Buildings in these countries are often smaller, so they will cause less damage if they collapse. People will practice what to do if an earthquake happens so that they are prepared. Here's your vocab grid that you need to complete today. If you don't have a printer, you can draw this in your books. For each word, you need to tick if you've never heard, if you've heard this word before but don't understand what it means, or if you've heard this word and understand it. If you tick that you've heard this word and understood it, then in the very last column, you need to write a sentence to show you understand the meaning of the word. I'm going to read you each of the words now on this vocab grid. Earthquake. Covering. Force. During. Barely. Destruction. Risk. Common. Today, practice saying the text through a few times with your actions using the text map to help you. This will help you start remembering and memorising parts of the text. And then complete the vocabulary grid, tick in one of the first three columns, and then if you do understand what the word means, write me a sentence to show me. Thank you, bye!